What's up guys? It's been a while since I made a new video over at my channel. So stick around as I discuss the five top essential things that you need to have inside your gig bag. Alright, as part of our responsibility to take care of uh, our price possession, which is, which is our basis, uh, it would be best to invest on a very good gig bag. So, throughout the years, I've been using the Fusion uh, gig bag, the F1, but right now, I have a new gig bag, which is the Reunion Loose uh, Continental Voyager. Uh, this is my really my dream gig bag and uh, I'm truly grateful uh, to have it now after you know uh, years of dreaming of uh, owning one so let's dive right into what can we find inside my gig bag so the first thing that you need to have on your gig bag would be all right tuner guys guys it is the number my number one tool you need to be in tune all right uh i have seen a couple of bass players uh, who went on a gig um, that you know their bases went out of tune it is your responsibility and for uh the benefit the whole band throughout the night tuner number one all right number two on the list would be cables cables and cables extra cable does count be a boy scout all right so on a gig uh you should have right right now uh my pedal board alongside uh, so i bring a couple of extra cables just in case something happens so yeah and mark that please good quality cables so uh, I'm using uh, planet waves circuit breaker cables and the Ameri they're American uh, cables as well too and this one a Mogami customized cable shout out to Soila Musica for making me this cable. Thank you. So, as you can see, I have four cables inside my gig bag. Okay, the third on the list would be, you know, uh, just for emergency purposes. But actually, as far as I can remember, it never happened on uh, a set, right? Because, you know, probably uh, I have developed a good playing technique in, on how I attack my strings but number three on the list would be spare sets and of course I have my ultimate strings Sadowski's ladies and gentlemen all right and of course you in order to install uh, these strings on your base you need to have your string winder right so you can cut and wind them very quickly. Number three on the list, spare strings. Okay, fourth item on the list uh, would be tools. Of course, if you uh, install new strings while you're on tour, you need to readjust your base, okay? Set it up again. I have with, within reach my Stumac uh, pocket tools here that I can uh, adjust the bridge saddles and also see here yeah cruise tool 
Cruise. See that? Okay. Um, it has uh, a couple of uh, Allen wrenches for a lot of uh, you know type of bases so that I can adjust uh, the bridge, um, also the saddle height, also the truss rod um, on the fly. Very handy tool. I don't know if you can see that uh, with the camera. Okay, check, check, check. Cruise tools, number four. Okay, down to the last item, which uh, is an essential uh, thing to have inside your gig bag. As a bass player, you need to provide a good bass tone uh, to the front of the house. And how do you do that? With the use of a direct box or a DI. So uh, this enables you to convert your high impedance signal, bass signal, to a low impedance microphone signal that can travel to within long distance cables to the front of the house. Right. I have here uh, the LR Bags Sadium DI. This is an active uh, direct box. So um, there are a couple of uh, options available in the market. Back in the day, my first uh, active direct box would be the Sans Amp bass driver and I would love to have one again honestly so yeah Neller Bags Stadium DI you can see that uh, so this is the, um, the DI input and uh, it will allow uh, your signal to travel direct to the front of the house so that the tech can mix your bass signal along with the band right so two types of uh, DI boxes would be an active like this one and a passive. Um, I have a couple of uh, DIs. This is my passive. Uh, this is a very cheap uh, DI, the Ultra DI from um, Behringer. So this is just a passive uh, DI there. And uh, usually I set this up uh, with my main pedal board. So that it has a parallel out so that um, I can uh, also feed the signal to an amplifier if it is available. Also have uh, an active DI from uh, TC Electronic. This is the teleport, right? So just one input, uh, very easy to use. Uh, it's got uh, an adapter input as well for a 12 volt uh, DC uh, input, right? So DI guys, very, very important so that you can provide a good bass tone for your engineer or your tech. Okay, that wraps up my top five essential things that you need to have on your gig bag thank you guys for the, all the support that you have given Cinco Pado Luthier services throughout the years uh, I will be linking um, my socials at the description of this video and uh, check out for those also who are my fellow HX Stomp uh, bass players please do check out my patches via my website and I will also link the description of my website below if you enjoyed what you've seen here in this video please give a thumbs up and follow and subscribe at my youtube channel this will enable me to create more videos so that i can share my best practices with you guys and uh anything uh under the sun about our beloved instrument see you soon bass players bye for now